How long have you had this particular joey and how much longer will you end up um, like rearing it? Um, well, it very much depends on them because I, like we've had guidelines that I'm supposed to abide mm -hmm. by. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. But I figure guidelines are guidelines. Yeah. yeah. I've had her for probably four months now. Um, overall, she could stay here, let's say, 18 months. Okay. But to me, um, she would certainly be around this house yard for another good six, seven months. Right. But then, it, it's a bit merged between the paddock and here. Mm. So, she might choose that she's okay in the paddock with her mate, mm -hmm. you know, the two of them. Yeah. Or they might do it slower. Right. So, I let them do it at their own pace. Yes, yes. You know, some people, they have actual gates, they just shut the gates and that's it. Mm, you know, mm. day, you know, 375 or something, you're supposed to be here, mm, and that's where mm, they are. Mm. Well, we're just a little bit... It's a lot, a lot gentler to do it, let them do it at their own pace, yeah. Well, I think so. Um, mm. Oh, here comes another boy. Don't you go inside, Michael. Oh, this one is cute. Um, that's Michael, it's oh, friendly. Oh, wow. Yes. He's a he's a different he's a he's a wallaroo, isn't he? He is a wallaroo, the same. But different colour. Oh, they're all different colours. Right, this one's a lot brown. I've never seen them that colour. Oh, they go to all black. I've like seen the really black ones, yeah. That coat. Wow. Sweetheart, can you shut that door so this wallaroo? He's he's a little bit older. He's a little bit older than him. Yeah. Oh wow. And see, they told me I couldn't leave them outside mm -hmm. of a night, and I do, because they were naturally wanting to do it. Of course. I mean, that's their environment, you know, and, that's and, right. and they're still within the fenced area anyway, so... Well, the people in town told me they'll freeze, put it, put it, come put it on but the people from Sydney told me... Oh. There she is. Wow. Kyla, <coughs> what are you doing? He's perfect. Oh, there you go. See, look. 
She's carrying a little Joey. Give her a bit of room, put you. Darling, do you want to show your baby? I've never had a look at a baby in a pouch. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, it's very private. Yeah, yeah. I encourage you. Yeah. Ah, you'd be nice. Looks like a good size too. It's not a, it's not a little one. It's, it's, it's growing. Hmm. She might. Abby, she had a little boy before. Abby. Wow. Cool. That's right. A real boy can do it. Outside of Dubbo, and it's a little stone at 8.30. Nice little farmhouse. It's like a bed and breakfast. Just spending the weekend here with uh, friends. And, uh, beautiful spot. The lady that runs the job is really nice. Had an excellent time. Definitely. She looks up to the little orphan. start in life and then eventually he'll be released into the wild and uh tops. There's some that are even younger and they're in little pouches inside the house there. But uh, this one here is a little next door. It's a couple of bigger ones but they jump the fence and come and go as they please but they still come back. Thank you. 